in the grand theater of the 21st century, two ancient players emerge into the spotlight, each vying to script the next act of global leadership. India and China, nations of staggering populations and deep historical roots, now engage in a subtle dance of rivalry and one-upmanship as they race toward a singularly prestigious title, superpower. One economic growth, the dragon's fire versus the elephant's stride. In the arena of economic growth, the world witnesses the contrasting approaches of two Asian giants. China, with its explosive economic expansion, faces off against India, whose gradual but steady growth hints at a burgeoning potential. Each country's path reflects its unique strategies, challenges, and aspirations. China, the dragon's fiery economy. China's economy, like a dragon breathing fire, radiates intensity and power. Its factories, vast and voracious, are the heartbeats of global manufacturing, pumping out products that the world eagerly consumes. This relentless production has propelled China to the forefront of the global economy, making it a force to be reckoned with. However, this rapid growth is not without its perils. The very intensity that fuels the dragon's fire also sparks concerns about sustainability, environmental degradation, trade tensions, and the delicate balance of international relations are just some of the challenges that threaten to dampen the flames. Despite these challenges, China's economic prowess remains formidable, a testament to its strategic planning and sheer capacity to mobilize resources. Points for China, 810. India, the elephant's measured march. India, the elephant, treads a different path. Its economic journey is marked by cautious optimism, with each step thoughtfully placed. The youthful energy of its population is a beacon of hope, promising a future where India's economic potential could fully blossom. However, the road ahead is not without its hurdles. Infrastructure challenges and stark social disparities pose significant obstacles to India's economic ambitions. Yet the elephant's stride, though sometimes slow, is unwavering. The promise of gradual but inclusive growth offers a vision of an economy that grows not just in numbers, but in opportunities for its vast populace. Points for India 710. Winner by a whisker, China for now, with its enormous economic engine. 2. Technological Innovation, the Dance of Innovation. In the realm of technological innovation, China and India are not just competitors, but sprinting titans on distinct tracks each with their own style and pace, racing toward a future where technology reigns supreme. China the Hasty Titan China's approach to technological innovation is like a sprinter who trains with military precision, eyes on the immediate prize. The Chinese government's heavy investment and strategic direction have created an environment ripe for technological leaps. From the bustling tech hubs of Shenzhen and Beijing, the world has witnessed the meteoric rise of giants like Huawei, Alibaba, and Tencent, companies that now sit comfortably among the world's tech elite. Yet China's sprint is not without its stumbles. The tightrope walk of maintaining stringent control while fostering creativity poses a significant challenge. The paradox lies in the government's desire to lead in innovation while keeping a firm grip on the reins which sometimes means sacrificing the freedom that feeds creative thought and expression. The result is a complex ecosystem where state-led initiatives push forward ambitious projects like the Beidou Navigation Satellite System, while censorship and regulation may curb the natural chaos that often spurs innovation. And points for China, 810. India, the Enduring Marathoner. India's journey in technological innovation is akin to a marathon runner with a steady, enduring pace. There's a palpable energy in cities like Bangalore and Hyderabad, often touted as India's Silicon Valley, where an ecosystem of engineers, entrepreneurs, and venture capitalists thrives. India's software industry has long been respected globally, with its IT services and back-end development laying the digital groundwork for countless international corporations. India's technological growth has been organic, with a bottom-up approach that harnesses the creativity of its massive young workforce. Its startup scene is vibrant, marked by a spurt in fintech, e-commerce, and edtech ventures 
that have captured global investor interest. The country's digital landscape is ever-evolving, with the government's push for digitization in initiatives like Digital India and the robust Aadhaar biometric system. The marathon continues as India's tech scene draws international attention, not just for its software services, but for homegrown innovations like the UPI payment system. While it may not always make the headlines with flashy projects, India's steady strides ensure it remains a formidable contender in the global tech race. Points for India, 610. Winner by innovation, China, sprinting ahead with technological might. 3. Military Might, the Shield and the Sword In the arena of global defense, the military capabilities of a nation are both its shield and its sword, serving to protect its sovereignty and assert its will. Here, we delve into the military prowess of China and India, evaluating their strengths as they stand today. China, the ancient sword reforged The Chinese military, with a history as long and storied as the Great Wall itself, has transformed into a modern leviathan. It is the ancient sword, reforged and honed to meet the demands of contemporary warfare. With the world's largest active duty military force, the People's Liberation Army, PLA, is a formidable presence. It boasts an impressive array of modernized equipment, from stealth fighters to aircraft carriers, underlining its capability to project power far beyond its borders. China's military advancements are not just a show of force, but a strategic positioning that aligns with its aspirations to shape a new global order. The PLA's cyber warfare units and anti-satellite weapons are a testament to its preparedness for the battles of the future. With significant investment in cutting-edge technology, China's military strength extends into space, cyberspace, and the electromagnetic spectrum, earning it a solid 810 points for its military might. Points for China, 810. India, the unyielding shield. In contrast, India's military ethos is symbolized by the shield, a robust, resilient force that has stood the test of numerous conflicts. The Indian armed forces command respect for their valiant history and strategic depth. With one of the world's largest volunteer armies, India has cultivated a force that balances traditional warfare with modern needs investing in areas such as missile defense systems and nuclear capabilities. India's focus has been on building a military that can defend its lengthy borders and maintain peace in a region riddled with historical tensions. The recent push for self-reliance in defense production, with initiatives like Make in India, underscores a strategic shift towards indigenization and innovation. India's military strength is not merely defensive, it is an assertion of its resolve to maintain autonomy and influence in the region, deserving 610 points for its formidable presence. Winner by force, China with its expansive military reach. For diplomatic chess, pawns and knights. China, pawns advance on the Silk Road. China's diplomatic efforts evoke the image of a dragon strategically positioning its pawns across the global chessboard. The ambitious Belt and Road Initiative, BRI, stands as a testament to this, a series of economic and development projects that span continents. Through the BRI, China seeks not only to bolster its economic growth, but also to cement its influence in regions far and wide. However, with grandeur comes risk. While the BRI has the potential to secure China's position as a global superpower, it also exposes it to accusations of debt trap diplomacy and overreach. It's a gambit that, if successful, could result in a diplomatic checkmate, securing allies and opening markets. China's territorial claims in the South China Sea and its tense borders with India are cases in point, showcasing the double-edged sword of its foreign policy that seeks to assert its rising status, but at times isolates it on the world stage. In points for China 610, India, knights carve a path of influence. In response, India's strategic location at the crossroads of the East and West, coupled with its historically non-aligned stance, allows it to navigate the geopolitical chessboard with a more balanced approach. India's foreign policy is characterized by its efforts to build a wide network of partnerships, from the Quad Alliance with the U.S., Australia, and Japan, 
aiming to ensure a free and open Indo-Pacific, to its participation in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, reflecting its capacity to engage with both Western and Eastern blocs. Its foreign policy is marked by an emphasis on multilateralism, peacekeeping, and a focus on strengthening regional partnerships. India's knights leap across the board, building alliances through strategic partnerships like the Quadrilateral Security Dialogue Quad and engaging in high-profile leadership within international organizations. These relationships could prove crucial in the event of a diplomatic stalemate, providing the support needed to tip the scales. India's cultural diplomacy also plays a pivotal role as it seeks to foster deeper cultural and economic ties with its neighbors and beyond. Points for India, 810. Winner by strategy, India for its well-geopolitical positioning and balanced foreign policy. 5. The People, Youth versus Experience. In the global arena, where the vigor of a nation's population can determine its trajectory, we find China and India at pivotal crossroads, their demographic compositions setting the stage for a future either ripe with potential or burdened by legacy. China, the ticking demographic clock. China stands as a testament to the strength that comes with experience. Its population, once burgeoning, now faces the inevitable tick of the demographic clock, signaling a society that must reconcile the wisdom of age with the dynamism of youth. This demographic shift presents a double-edged sword. While the nation benefits from a seasoned workforce, the impending transition to a more youthful population is fraught with uncertainty. The challenges of an aging society weigh heavily on China's shoulders, and the pressure to sustain economic growth amidst a declining working-age population is intense. This delicate balance between preserving the fruits of experience and embracing the zeal of youth earns China a score of five-tenths, reflective of both its accomplishments and the impending hurdles. Points for China, 510. India, the resonance of youthful energy. India, in contrast, beats with the vibrant pulse of its young population. A demographic dividend in the truest sense its youthful workforce brims with potential, standing as the rhythm that could lead the nation into a crescendo of economic success and innovation. However, potential is but a prelude to achievement. The real test lies in harmonizing this energy into tangible progress, in transforming the youthful melody into a symphony of sustained development and prosperity. The risks of discordance remain, as the potential could dissipate into a cacophony should the requisite education, employment, and empowerment not materialize. India's demographic advantage is promising but requires careful orchestration. Thus, India scores 8 tenth for its demographic boon, a score that reflects both its immense potential and the need for strategic nurturing. Points for India, 810. Winner by potential, India with its demographic boon. 6. Governance, the scale and the balance. In the vast spectrum of governance, we see two vastly different systems at play. China's governance, characterized by its unilateral decision-making, stands in stark contrast to India's democratic cacophony, where a multitude of voices clamor for attention. China, the hammer of decision. In the halls of Beijing, governance is an exercise in precision and control. Decisions are made with the swiftness of a hammer's fall, delivering policies and changes with an efficiency that can be awe-inspiring. Yet, in the wake of this decisiveness, the subtler tones of public dissent and individual expression often get muffled, if not entirely silenced. This unilateral approach to governance, while effective in some respects, raises concerns about the stifling of democratic freedoms and human rights. China's score of 510 reflects this duality, the strength found in decisiveness but the fragility where individual voices struggle to be heard. Points for China, 510. India, the democratic scale. India's democratic model presents a stark contrast. Here, governance is a balancing act, a scale that must weigh diverse opinions and interests, often resulting in a decision-making process that can appear painstakingly slow. Yet, this system ensures that the myriad voices of its populist democracy are given a chance to be heard, 
fostering an environment where debate and discussion are encouraged. The Indian approach, with all its imperfections, underscores the value of consensus and representation, earning it a score of six-tenths. This score reflects the challenges of managing such a complex polity, but also celebrates the inclusivity of its democratic ethos. Points for India, 610. Winner by voice, India, with its chorus of democratic discourse. Education, the scholar versus academy. In the global race for superpower status, education plays a pivotal role, shaping the minds that will lead tomorrow's innovations and policies. Both China and India have unique approaches to education, reflecting their cultural values and strategic priorities. China, the rigorous scholar. China's education system is a testament to the value it places on discipline and excellence. From a young age, students are ushered into a rigorous academic environment where the stakes are high and the competition is fierce. The Gaokao, China's national university entrance exam, epitomizes this pressure cooker environment, determining the academic and career futures of millions. This intense focus on education has cultivated a highly skilled workforce, propelling China forward in fields like science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, STEM. However, this system has its critics, who argue that it stifles creativity and places undue stress on students. Points for China, 810. India, the Diverse Academy. India's education system is as diverse as its population. It ranges from world-class institutions like the Indian Institutes of Technology, IITs, and Indian Institutes of Management, IIMs, to schools in rural areas struggling with basic resources. India's challenge lies in ensuring quality education across the spectrum, making it accessible to all its citizens. Despite these challenges, India's emphasis on higher education, especially in STEM fields, has made it a significant contributor to the global talent pool, particularly in the IT sector. The system's flexibility and diversity have been its strength, allowing for a multitude of educational paths. In points for India, 710. Winner by innovation, China, primarily due to its ability to mobilize resources and implement policies that drive academic excellence on a massive scale. 8. Culture of influence and soft power. In the grand tapestry of global dynamics, culture plays an indispensable role in shaping a nation's identity and its ascendancy on the world stage. As China and India race towards superpower status, their rich and ancient cultures become both a bridge and a battleground for influence. China, the Dragon's Cultural Ambit China's culture, with its millennia-old history, is a profound repository of art, philosophy, and tradition. The government harnesses this cultural wealth, promoting Confucian ideals of harmony and social order, and projects its soft power globally through initiatives like the Confucius Institutes. Yet this cultural export is meticulously curated, emphasizing a narrative that aligns with national pride and the Communist Party's values. While China's cinematic ventures, technological innovations, and traditional arts enchant audiences worldwide, the state's heavy hand in these cultural expressions sometimes dulls their global appeal, casting shadows of censorship and control. Points for China, 610. India, the elephant's diverse harmony. India's cultural landscape is a kaleidoscope of languages, religions, and traditions, reflecting the country's pluralistic ethos. Bollywood's global reach, the international celebration of Yoga Day, and the allure of Indian cuisine underscore the country's soft power. Unlike China, India's cultural exports flourish in a more decentralized and organic manner, propelled by the private sector and the diaspora rather than state orchestration. This diversity, is both a strength and a challenge, as it presents a multifaceted image of India to the world, sometimes at the expense of a unified narrative. Points for India, 810. Winner by global influence, India takes the lead. Its ability to project a vibrant, diverse, and inclusive culture has garnered global affection and curiosity. 9. English language proficiency, the linguistic bridge. In the grand chessboard of global influence, the command over the English language emerges as a potent kingmaker, distinguishing India in its quest for superpower status. 
China, bridging the language gap. China, recognizing the importance of English in the global arena, has vigorously incorporated English language education into its curriculum. However, despite substantial investment and the growing proficiency among its populace, China's command of English does not yet match India's widespread fluency. This linguistic hurdle slightly narrows China's path in certain sectors of international business and diplomacy, requiring additional strides to fully leverage global opportunities akin to India's. Nonetheless, China's relentless push to enhance English proficiency among its citizens signifies its commitment to bridging this gap, underscoring its strategic intent to expand its global footprint. Points for China 610 Linguistic Champion India India's inherent advantage in English language proficiency positions it as the more effective communicator on the global stage, facilitating smoother international interactions and bolstering its economic and diplomatic endeavors. India, the articulate giant. India's canvas is richly painted with the brush of English, a linguistic legacy that threads through its education, governance, and international relations. This proficiency in English not only opens doors to the Anglophone world, but also positions India as a pivotal player in global business, making it an attractive hub for international investment and outsourcing. The fluency in English among its vast population allows India to export a wealth of services, from information technology to customer support, making it the world's back office. This linguistic advantage amplifies India's voice on the global stage, facilitating diplomacy and international cooperation. Points for India, 910. Linguistic champion, India for its inherent advantage in English language proficiency, positions it as the more effective communicator on the global stage, facilitating smoother international interactions and bolstering its economic and diplomatic endeavors. 10 Epilogue, A Duet, Not a Duel As the dragon and the elephant tread their distinct paths, the world watches with bated breath. The narrative is not one of conquest, but of coexistence. The race for superpower status is not a zero-sum game. The final act is unwritten, and perhaps the greatest twist is the realization that the stage is vast enough for both to share the spotlight, to lead together in a duet that champions diversity and prosperity for all. The curtains have yet to close, and in this unfolding drama, every step, every misstep contributes to the legacy that will define the era.